Hi everyone, I'm down here at a new area of the beach. Not sure what age it is, there is limestone around, so the limestone, uh, at least in this part of New Zealand, is Oligocene, so a little bit older than the Miocene crabs that I normally find. So I'm not sure what we're going to find. If you see this, I found something, I made a video. Let's go explore. Hey, I found a concretion. Normally means we're in an area with fossils. So, as far as I know, concretions only form in sedimentary rock. And there's something up top here. Like a little bit of a... some crystal or something. Yeah, that's definitely a concretion. It's quite a big one too. See if we find something that's broken open. See if there's any bones inside or something fossil. Not too long later and I've found some bone. There's quite a few pieces in there actually. It's, it's a huge concretion so it's staying here on the beach but yeah, it's definitely fossils around here. Yeah? I'm not sure what that's from. There's a whole bunch on that side. It's quite large as well. That's how big the concretion is. I think there's actually bone over there too. I managed to lift the concretion up and have a look at all the bones underneath it. That's a whole bunch in there. I wonder what it's from. If it's Cretaceous, it'll be Plesiosaur, Mosasaur, I'm guessing. There's a big number of bones in there. What I'll do is I'll take a lot of photos and get the GPS coordinates. At least we know where it is. <laughs> That'd be quite fun to prep, I think. The, the bone does look a little bit worn. Might not have a really nice bone surface. It looks like it's you know, beaten, eaten away by some by something. Sometimes if it's lying on the ground for a long time, bacteria will get to it. Start eating away at the bone and worms and all sorts of creatures. This one's quite difficult to see. Um, the bone's all bleached, so you can't really see it very well, and it's got some barnacles growing on it. But I think that's a vertebra, and it's got a concave side there, and it's a convex side on that side. There's a vertebra, and there's a vertebra. If it is indeed a vertebra, I think mosasaurs have the concave and the convex, where a plesiosaur's got two convex sides, I think. So if it is a vertebra, these two, then it could be from a mosasaur, which would be awesome. Once again, in a monstrous <laughs> concretion. So I'm just taking some photos of it, but yeah, it's definitely fossils out here. Always like these areas where a lot of dirt's been washed away. You never know what you're gonna find. Just looking for any clues, see if there's any tiny shells or anything washed out. Not seeing anything, yeah? This orangey dirt can sometimes be the, the loaves, so the, the rock powder from the, the glaciers that covered New Zealand at some point. Not many fossils in the lows. This rock down here has got some cool trace fossils though. 
there's a trace fossil there. A few other ones. I'm definitely in the right area. <laughs> Just need to find that fossil. The one good fossil. It'll make this trip worthwhile. It's always fun exploring a new area though. The first challenge is to try and figure out how old this area is. Uh, like I said, limestone is a legacine, and there is limestone around. I'll, on the way back, I'll show you where the limestone is. But like this stuff over here, I've got no idea what age this is. It's got some glauconite in there, like it's got a lot of green in there, so it'll be um, ocean, an ocean deposit, which is not surprising because New Zealand was mostly covered at some point. Hey, there's something cool down there. How big is it? It's quite big. <laughs> That's fossil wood or bone? I think that's wood. Yeah, that's a bit of petrified wood over there. It's quite a big rock though. Let's see what else we can find down here. Hey, I found another piece of petrified wood and it's the entire round so that's a, a small branch or a small tree and it's going through the rock and popping out on the back there I wonder if it's worth taking back it'd be cool to try and count how many rings it's got there I'll see how heavy it is I've, I've got an empty backpack so it's, yeah, I'll start carrying it and we can see if I get tired or not. <laughs> it's an interesting rock over here. I don't think it's a fossil, it's just some natural shape. It's still pretty cool. This rock over here has also got similar markings. found something good. This concretion I found over in that hole there. I just lifted it up onto this rock to take a better look at it. First thing I noticed were these little bones over here and it reminded me of fish bones. It's got that really flaky look to it. And then as I lifted it up I saw that over there and I'm pretty sure that's a fish vertebra. So there's bones on that side, bones on that side. Chances are there's going to be some bones in the middle there. It's a really heavy rock though. I'm quite far away so... Hmm. Uh, I might just have to carry it in my arms. I don't think it's going to fit in my backpack. Well I'm definitely sure it's not going to fit in my backpack. Yeah that's a, that's a heavy carry back to the car. I think it'd be worthwhile. There's going to be lots of fish bones in there which aren't the easiest to prep. Here's a cool little rock. Doesn't look like much, it's a very hard concretion. But there's a bone. There's a bone. And I saw another one. And actually you could see the cross section. That's a bone over there. The cross section of a bone, at least. I've got a feeling it's ribs. They're all in a row, very evenly spaced. That'll be worth carrying back. I made it. <laughs> it's in the car. 
Let's get it home. As I was carrying it, I saw more bones sticking out, so this thing is absolutely packed full of bones, which is awesome. There's that vertebra right there. Wonder how to prep this one. Don't know if I'll be able to use the air scribe or acid. That bone looks to be in really good shape. Here's that smaller rock from today, the one with a few bits of bone sticking out, uh, which I think is Cretaceous bone. Uh, this is chalk, so I can easily remove it, but there's one bone, kind of rip looking, but I'm just guessing. There's another one just poking out over there, and that's the one we can actually see a little bit of the cross section. I'm not sure if it goes all the way through the rock there, but yeah, it's a, you can see the cross section there, and then here's another one over there, and then there's a bigger bone, it's missing that side, so one, two, three, four bones that I can see, and I think we're looking at the outside of a concretion, so I think this would have been the inside of the concretion. So a pretty good chance that one of these bones would go through to the other side. Just thinking which one we should focus on. I think let's do a quick prep on this one. I'm going to remove this rock at the top. I think yeah. Yeah, I'll remove that though. Yeah, I'll remove this top bit of rock over here and then see if we can follow this bone in and see if it gives us a shape that we can recognize. Hopefully it's something cool like a, a bit of plesiosaur rib. The first step is to <laughs> clean up this work area here which some fossil prepper <laughs> didn't clean up last time uh, just so you don't mix up the chips. You don't want to have some Miocene era chips in amongst with the Cretaceous ones in case you want to just collect some at the end. What I'll do is I'll collect some with the chips from this fossil and then keep those in case there's micro fossils in there. Well, here's our fossil after a quick two hour prep with the air scribe. Uh, it was nice and soft, the rock, and there was good separation with the fossil. And I put it in some vinegar at the end just to get that last little bit of sediment away from the bone. It definitely looks like a rib to me. It's got a bit of that curve, if you look at it. It's kind of curving to the right in a very slight amount. And it's kind of, you know, the right size, what I would expect a rib to be. Not 100% sure what kind of animal it would be. I'm guessing a plesiosaur because they were more common than the mosasaurs. But yeah, it could be a plesiosaur or a mosasaur. Pretty sure this is Cretaceous. 
which would mean it's around about, I would say, 80 million years old in this area. Not the most exciting find, but still, it's a, it's a, it's a dinosaur age bone. We're the first people to ever see it. <laughs> so yeah, stoked with that. It's got this little piece over here. So there's a piece of bone. There's a bone in there and there's a small bone on that side as well. So a little bone cluster there, Cretaceous age. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Just to talk a little bit more about the difference between a plesiosaur and a mosasaur vertebra. This is from a plesiosaur over here and you can see if I tilt it like that, it's got a concave side. So it's going in over here and it's got the same on the other side. So both sides are slightly concave. I think I said convex in the video. And this is from a really nice plesiosaur I found probably two years ago now and prepped the video somewhere on my channel. And this is that recent mosasaur vertebra I found. You can see on this side, on the right hand side, it's bulging out, so it's convex, and on the other side it's concave, so it's going in. And that's how you tell the difference between a mosasaur and a plesiosaur vertebra. The ones I saw on the beach are shaped like this, there's, they're kind of in this profile and there's one, two next to each other so they're kind of interlocking. The, the bulging out part fits into that side of the other vertebra. Thanks so much for joining me everyone, I hope you enjoyed that fossil hunt and that quick fossil prep. It's always great finding a bit of dinosaur age bone. Stay safe and I'll see you on the next hunt.